Namaste. Being an architect, I realized the power of infrastructure. So we started out by building a health post at a remote area where an indigenous tribe live in my district. An area with 86% child marriage, malnutrition, where a woman of 30 year old has already had 12 kids and it's common for houses to have lost a child or two. Over the past six months, I have seen the development, I have seen the changes in the community with the development of health center, with the health and hygiene awareness that we gave to them and the road access that we built. But I know that these aren't sustainable. They are still in need of portable water, of electricity, and most importantly, education. We often tend to overlook the power of our voices. And as public figures, I believe that we have a very big responsibility to voice our voices for the voiceless. My advocacy is for change, to make people believe in the power of one single human being. If you all join hands together, we can transform not just one, but 10 different, even hundreds of different communities. One person can change the world. And I believe that we all can be that person. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. So in Singapore, we have a problem because there is an aging population. And as time passes, many elderly people are neglected and a lot of them do not get the subsidies they need because they don't fit the criteria because they do not have a house, they don't have children. And today, my Beauty with a Purpose project is to help make healthcare accessible to the people who genuinely need it. You know, I work with Sianche, which is a non-profit organization that has a history of 117 years. And we have 15 branches in Singapore to cater to everyone's convenience. And in Singapore, my Beauty with a Purpose journey is I try to raise awareness by participating in art exhibitions, charity galas, such as our recent charity gala, which Miss Molly Grace. We managed to raise a grand total of 4 million Singapore dollars to help 400,000 residents in our country. And if we help one out of the 400,000 people and they have a household of three, we would be able to help 1.2 million people in my country. And I feel very, very grateful to be a part of this cause. And another reason why I wish to advocate this cause is because my father suffers from a myriad of medical problems and he really taught me the importance of um, having subsidies and being able to elevate the stress of financial burden. Thank you. Thank you, Nepal. Thank you, Singapore. Over to you, Frankie, with those all important results. Another very difficult decision for our judges. Great work, ladies. And we're going to start with Megan Young. Uh, it's very difficult for me to choose right now. Um, obviously, I want the both of you and all of you to win this. But I think by a slight point, maybe, it will be Singapore. You both have spoken so well, but my vote would be to Miss Singapore. You both really did fantastic, and I think everyone can say that we did get to know so much about your projects, and of course, hopefully get to hear more in the future. Um, but my vote is to Singapore. Singapore, a full house. You have made the Miss World final 30. How do you feel? I really don't know what to say. I just want to thank everyone that has believed in me and I'll continue fighting hard and doing my best. And it's been very amazing to meet all of you. I'm very blessed to be here. Thank you. Nepal, you are also very well spoken and commiserations to you. Thank you so much. I'm really happy for Singapore and ha I'm happy to have been able to share my project with all of you. Thank you, ladies.